Hi everyone, Joanne here. So as you know, the purpose of my videos is to go over the Bible and I will try my best to post on a weekly basis unless things come up. For this week, actually for the past two weeks I think, I've been trying to focus on inner peace and I think it's something that a lot of us need right now. So I just want to share um, Mark 4 verses 30 to 41 and the reason I want to share that is because it talks about the disciples and Jesus having to get on a boat and make a trip but during their journey they encounter a storm and that's exactly what it feels like right now it just feels like we're in the middle of a storm right so this is just something we'll go over i want to give you a little bit of background on mark it is located in the new testament and of course the author is mark <laughs> and i'm just reading this from my bible um it's dated around 65 AD and it says here that at the time Israel was under the Roman Empire control so that's just a little bit of history on the person who wrote this but going back to Mark 4 30 41 I have a slideshow for you okay so if you don't have a Bible that's fine I have everything here that you need um, so Go ahead and lie down or find a nice spot, relax, and just enjoy the slideshow. Uh, I'll see you back here and then we'll discuss a little more about the story, okay? The disciples asked Jesus, What shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable shall we use to describe it? Jesus answered, It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. That day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern of the boat, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him up and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Amen. So I think that is such a beautiful story. And I think... It's amazing that the disciples were able to see God's power like that. And even though we can't see the power of God that straightforward, I think we need to just try and look at how God works in our lives on a regular basis. 
and I feel that sure there is chaos and we are in our right to feel whatever feelings whatever emotions come through because we're human so it's always important to acknowledge those feelings and release those feelings but I also think the point of this story is don't forget I'm with you and even though it seems like I'm sleeping and I'm not paying attention you call out to me and I will come to you at least that's what I get from it um, there's many ways to interpret this story and I've heard other uh, perspectives and I think they're all beautiful I think that is what I love most about reading the Bible is that I can listen to a sermon and when I go back to the, the scripture, something else might stand out to me or I can understand um, what they are preaching about. So yeah, that's just what I think. Um, I also wanted to share with you just something that helps me kind of wind down and remind myself that I'm not in a present state of danger. So what it is, ideally you want to lie down and what you do is you place one hand over your heart <laughs> and the other hand over your head while as you're lying down, okay? And you will take two three deep breaths so it'll be for example inhale exhale do that and remind yourself that you are safe that you are loved and that everything will be okay all right Take care and we'll see you next week.